Which are you picking? Be honest. There's like no comparison. <laughs> Even with all the beefy funny business I pulled, this still looks way better than this. Hello friends, it's me. Today we're gonna be recreating popular fast food dishes. And my sister's gonna be the judge. Do a wave. She's gonna try the fast food version versus my version to see which one's actually better. I saw Rug do this video and it looked delicious, so I'm doing this video. First, we have some potatoes. Step one, scrub your potatoes. Scrub their sins away. So in and out fry have some of the skin on, so we're gonna do some of the skin. Yes, I cut on my counter because my cutting board is over there. Y'all want me to use a cutting board so bad I will. Okay, that's much better. Now we have these potato fillets. We're going to slice them into the fries. Now, I like my fries. Like Bella Hadid, skinny. Some of these are a little too skinny. These really do be shoestring. And there we have it, a whole handful of fries. One potato of fries should be enough. Now let's do the raw vegan version of it. It fits. I'm gonna give these a little rinsey rinse. Do not mind the mess in my kitchen. I waited for my kitchen to be very messy before I did this video, just because it's gonna be even more messy. Ooh, whose hair is this? Would you like it? Mm-hmm, they clone you? Appetizer. <laughs> One of the ingredients requires a strand of hair. Going to heat up my oil. We're gonna use the avocado oil. In and out definitely doesn't do that. We gotta wait for these to dry. Water is oil's biggest off. A drop of water from the moist fry will make this explode. So don't do it. Now we gotta saute the onion. I'm going to take half an onion. I'm going to try my very hardest not to cry, but I'll probably cry. Look at the way the onion is looking at me. It's so menacing. And we're gonna save some of this onion for our Big Mac. Now I gotta pull out the techniques. Oh no, I can feel the tears. I must chop off every little piece of onion so it can't hurt me anymore. Shall we test the fry? Oh, it's sizzling. Okay, pop them in. Ah! I can't fry anything without burning myself. It will always happen. Get in there. Make sure y'all all get fried. Ooh, these are looking good. I'm going to take my onion. Watch this. This is how the pros do it. You just slide it. I feel like there should be a time limit or something. No, you know what my time limit is? When the sun goes down. It's 416 right now. The sun goes down in like less than an hour. So I'm gonna try to get all these dishes done. If you see a change in lighting, that means the light box has been busted out and I have failed. And you can put butter, you can put olive oil. The olive oil is just here, it's handy dandy. I'm gonna put some. I should have put the olive oil before the onions went in, but. We don't have that kind of luxury today. On the onion, I'm gonna put some pepper, I'm gonna put some salt, I'll put a little garlic powder. I don't know what in and out does. And quite frankly, I don't care. Where's my spatula? Yes. For smacking naughty guests or lightly sauteing onion. You know, I bet I can make the animal style fries faster than it takes to drive to In-N-Out, which is like 20 minutes. And then you wait in the drive-thru for another 20 minutes. And then by the time you get home, it's been an hour. And this is probably way better for you. Tastes better. Uh, I don't know. We'll see about that. Just something about getting food in a white paper bag. Just hit different. Secret sauce time. In-N-Out secret sauce ingredients. Blend of mayonnaise, ketchup, sweet pickle relish, and a hint of sugar. So it's just like Big Mac sauce. That's why they call it a secret sauce, because they don't want to call it a mayonnaise ketchup relish sauce. I don't know, relish might be scary to some people. So is mayonnaise. I know at least three people who are deathly afraid of mayonnaise. Some relish, I do love me some relish. I like a lot of relish. Ketchup, mayo. How much sugar are we talking? A little sprinkle. Got to season our ketchup with even more sugar. Salt, pepper, and then mix it all up. And then somehow it's gonna turn into special sauce. Now I'm thinking it's a little too red. It's giving sunburned sauce. We're gonna add a little bit more mayo. I don't like the idea of mayo. It's literally just like oil and egg mixed up. Now we're talking. We literally have a reference right here. What? This is like way redder than I thought. I'm going to add a little bit more ketchup. <laughs> So it's the perfect shade of secret sauce pink. Okay, I think that's better. Oh, the fries do be crispy, all right. But we're gonna put them in the oven, crisp them in a little more. They're actually looking pretty good. Good looking fries. Going to salt it right now because the oil makes it stick. My sister used to work at Kane's. She's a fast food expert. What's a Kane's secret? Every building has a one built into it because Kane's is number one. <laughs> I'm not joking, I'll show you. <laughs> We're going to take our Kraft Singles. They can, legally cannot call these cheese, so they call it Kraft Singles, which is basically American cheese. Oh, now it says made with real dairy. I mean, the first ingredient is cheddar cheese. I don't know, maybe they like glowed up. The second ingredient is cyanide. <laughs> You know what this means. You must pay the cheese tax. The cheese tax, the cheese tax. I am a good law-abiding citizen. I pay the cheese tax. This looks so good. I just want to eat it right now while I wait for mine. 
I don't care how long this has been sitting out. I don't care how soggy it is. It somehow just still tastes delicious. That's a problem. Why is this steaming up? Oh, I think our fries are ready. Fun fact, if you see my oven smoking up, mind your business. I tried baking some brie the other day and then all the oil from the brie started dripping and then it smoked up my whole kitchen and the smoke alarms went off. Yeah, I don't know, it was literally like I put plastic in there and it smelled like melted plastic. Here we have it, the fry, uh -oh. the fries. They're a little extra crispy. This is where we make our animal style fries. I'm gonna put them in here. Oh, it's looking good. The cheese goes first. I'm gonna put two pieces because I'm not stingy. I think they put it in the oven like this. Wait, they do, they do. Let's hope the paper doesn't burn. The oven is off. It's just gonna melt the cheese. I feel like you gotta watch it because this cheese is melting quick. I am impatient. I feel like they pop it into an oven for like two seconds and then take it out. Because it's already melted. Look at that. And then we're gonna put our secret sauce on it. Special sauce. Oh, this looks good. And then our onions. I feel like maybe I should like trick the onions a little more. But there you have it. All right, now the onions be looking real stupid. Taste test though. It just looks very fresh versus the animal fries that have been sitting on my counter for the past two hours. Oh. Oh, it tastes really good. I did not think this would taste better than this. Okay, come here. I'm going to give you a bite. The ultimate test. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> What do you think of that one? I hate it, it's terrible. Wait, actually, look, the onions are kind of burnt. Yeah. Like, I like them burnt, but. She's gonna know immediately. No, it's so cold, I already know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's the verdict? Don't mind me. Actually, like, yours are better. Mm-hmm. They're just so good. <laughs> I've been having in and out like, in person, like, sitting there and eating it because mm -hmm. it's so horrible when you take it home. Yeah. But it's kind of good. The fries do be good. <laughs> yeah. You can open your eyes Pink and take off the blindfold. Choo-choo! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Pretty good. Next up, we got some Popeyes. This is the only thing that I can eat at Popeyes because it's gluten-free and they taste so delicious. It's the blackened tenders. That's it? <laughs> what did you do to them? <laughs> These are just chicken tenders fried in seasoning. Simple. They didn't even give you any sauce. I don't eat that much fast food, but when I do, it's like in and out Popeyes, and the occasional McFlurry. Okay, we're gonna get our chicken. I'm gonna show you how I do this. I do this the easiest way possible. I put on a glove because I have nails. I'm not a fan of my nails smelling like chicken for the next eight hours. We have our chicken tenders. I don't like getting a bunch of things dirty, so we're gonna do it all in here. I have all the spices, and this is actually so easy. It's literally just spices. Cayenne pepper. You know, we can make this pretty or we can just do it. Onion powder garlic powder. See, this is why I like cooking and I'm not so good at baking because you literally do not have to measure. You just sprinkle a little bit of this, sprinkle a little bit of that. Basil. Some thyme. Some smoked paprika. Some pepper. And then of course some salt. I use pink Himalayan salt. You can use whatever salt you want. Put a little bit of oil on this. Help it coat. And then we're gonna mix this bad boy up. This is how I do my fried chicken too. I like season everything in the little tray that it comes in so I don't have to get anything dirty. Ah! Tender down! We've lost the tender! It's getting fried. It's going right back in the mix. Glorious seasoned chicken. This is keto too. No carb. Maximum protein. It's fry time. This is like such an easy dinner too. And it's cheaper than what you pay at Popeyes. All right, I'm gonna lay him down gently. Into the oil you go. Okay, the sun is setting much sooner than expected. Like, what did you expect me to do? Make a four course meal of fast food dupes in 45 minutes? No. Oh no, my tenders. It's time for the flip in. Oh, this is good. Ooh. One hand to record, one hand to flip. A few minutes later. Now we have our dough. I am excited to try the tenders. Oh, they didn't give me a little sheet. I'm just gonna steal this. Cut it in half. So each box gets some. Oh my goodness, these look so good. Which are you picking? Be honest. There's like no comparison. <laughs> what even is this versus this? That's a good looking tender. Oh, so tender on the inside too, wow. Taste test time. First I'm gonna try it. Okay, that's really good, but I will say it's missing sauce or salt. I'm gonna stop these bad boys up a little. You gotta throw them around a little bit just to make it look legit. 
I swear they be doing that with their tendies. They look traumatized by the time I open the box. Oh, that's too salty now. And then the actual Popeyes. This just got a kind of texture. That's good, but also like a dank little aftertaste. I don't know if it's the kind of oil that they use. The oil has just not been changed in months versus me doing brand new oil. Okay, time to try some chimkin. Open wide. I am offering chimkin. Choo choo. No good, I guess. Tastes like tofu salad bar, chopped up chicken. <laughs> it just has that weird aftertaste, huh? Okay, try this one. Choo choo. Oh, I should end too. It doesn't taste like fast food. It has the same like blackened taste, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have the dirty peanut oil taste. Yeah. I don't know if it's peanut oil that they use, but they use like a blend of oil and I don't like like the fast food oil that they use. Would you say this is the difference between five star chicken and fast food chicken? This is the difference between dirt under my fingernails when I'm digging holes to make plant and a nice meal. <laughs> okay, I guess mine wins once again. Are we still Popeyes? Oh, hold on. Fatality. We're gonna make a frappuccino. This right here, folks, is our competition. A venti caramel frappuccino. Oh, where's the straw? That's literally so good. It's also surprisingly really easy to make. All you need is some milk, 2%. I'm not even gonna bother measuring. I'm just gonna try to get the right consistency. Directions are very hard for me to follow. We're gonna put some sugar in it, just a little bit. Now, Starbucks doesn't use just straight up sugar. They use the Frappuccino base. It has sugar in it. Then some caramel sauce. Use as much as you like. Now I can brew some fresh coffee right now, but I have plain Starbucks coffee. You can use just any coffee you want. You can make it without coffee. But like the caramel frappuccino does have a little bit of coffee in it. I think I put too much milk. We're just gonna make a bigger serving. Put enough that it gets the color that you want. So obviously if you want more coffee, put more coffee. Is that it? And then ice. I'm gonna take a venti cup of ice. That was to stop it from splashing. Don't actually put your hands in there. Is that it? I feel like I'm missing something. I'm making this by memory. We're just gonna... I always want to do the cup and a caramel thing. All right, before I put it in the cup, should I taste it? Mmm, ooh, that's good. I feel like it needs more caramel, a lot more caramel. I feel like a barista, except they don't have that water thing that like washes the cups. Okay, so we're gonna do this. I think it looks just like a frappuccino. Mmm. Okay, that's better. Take my ready whip, shake it up. Oh, that looks so good. And then over here, a little caramel drizzle on top. Oh, wow. Oh my God, it looks so good. I don't know about you guys, but the dupe looks way better than the real thing. But does it taste better? Time for a taste test. I'm gonna try mine. Oh wow, that's so good. <laughs> And Starbucks, I got this half sweet and it's still like unbelievably sweet. If you know me, I like my drinks like not that sweet. Come here, we have our subject, our blind taste testing subject. I'm going to put the straw in your mouth. Please don't freak out. It's right there. No, <laughs> come on. I got all day, we're burning precious daylight. Okay, pretty good. Oh, it's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll try this one. Wait, which one? Okay, the first one has to be yours because it was like a little bit less sweet. Wait, let me, no, no do-overs. No. Okay, first one, this is the first one. Oh, okay. And this is the second one. What? You're giving me the same one. Really? Which one's better? I think the first one. <laughs> is that not yours? <laughs> oh, it's Starbucks. <laughs> the Starbucks one tastes less sweet than yours, what? Really? Oh, I think, oh, I think, think you had bottom. it. Yeah, I think she drank just straight up caramel sauce. I mean, they're both pretty good. They taste like almost the same. I think this one has more coffee. It's just like a slightly darker tinge. I didn't realize how much coffee they put in it. Still delicious. No! We are going to be duping a McDonald's Big Mac. Why do it look like that? I don't know why every McDonald's burger I've seen, it looked like somebody just like opened it, punched it, and then 
Okay, here you go. Here's a Big Mac. It's the McDonald's way. This is the most gluten I've ever held. This looks so good. I've always wanted a Big Mac. I don't think I've ever had a Big Mac in my life. Part of me just wants to take a bite. Should I take a bite? Is it worth it? You can poop your pants. You <laughs> I may become very violently ill. I'm gonna try to just take a bite. First Big Mac ever. Oh my god. No. This is actually delicious. I could eat this whole burger right now. I could eat anything right now. If I was hungry enough, I'd take a bite out of this onion. I feel dirty. You know, I have celiac, so I can't just like cheat on my diet. Oh, I'll just have gluten every once in a while. I don't do that. Growing up, I never did that. I never had a drop of gluten. But now I'm just like, mm. Every once in a while, you know, I gotta see what I'm up against and it ain't much. So it's just like onion, patty. This one's more white, so I'm guessing it's more mayo. Pickles and lettuce. Soggy bun. Wait, what about the cheese? I feel like there should be more than one slice of cheese in this. I feel like it should have two slices of cheese. I'm gonna put it away and make a better one. A head of lettuce. McDonald's lettuce, it's like really thinly sliced. Is grated lettuce a thing? Like, do you just like grate it or is it like gonna be too thinly sliced? Okay, yeah, it's definitely not grated. It's just very thinly sliced lettuce. Why are there so many flies in this house? They're like everywhere. You get a little unsavory crunch on your burger, it's probably a fly. That'll do it. Going to take my ground beef. My gloves, where are my gloves? I refuse to touch ground beef without putting gloves on. I thought this was a glove, it's just the empty craft plastic. Crazy how they wrap plastic in plastic. I'm gonna make four patties. I'm gonna make me one, a gluten-free version, and I'm gonna make my sister one, a normal version. The patties are very thin. They're very stingy with the meat. You know, when you go to a nice restaurant and order a burger, they give you them thick burgers. But like McDonald's, half of that. Maybe like a square inch of burger. And then you're just gonna pound it out until it's bigger. I'm gonna try to get it as round as possible, but there's no promises. I'm doing it on some plastic wrap because I don't like meat on my vegetable cutting board and to just like make it as flat as possible. Perfect. Uh, I want them all to be the same size, so I'm gonna make the balls first. It's not even Hamburg Sunday, but me and my sister do this thing every Sunday where it's Hamburg Sunday. We have Hamburg every Sunday. I don't know why. Doctor says low iron, so must have hamburg. How about them patties? Very thin, very stingy with the beef. I feel like over time, the patties have gotten even thinner. You know, this would be much easier if I had like a mallet or hammer or something, but my fist be doing just fine. Look at this. Paper thin beef. I had to clean a pan for this. Ideally, you would use a skillet. If you're wondering what I did with the oil that I fried with, no. Taste test? Would you like to try? It does say Americano, but it's not ice. I'm going to take my burger and I'm going to sizzle. And I gotta keep these thin. I've made such a mess filming this video. But it will all be worth it. We are going to prepare our bun, the reference. Okay, I have a gluten-free bun here. I'm gonna attempt to cut this into three pieces. We're gonna have to wipe those pulls down. We have a pristine, unpunched burger bun here. We will prepare this. I'm gonna take the in and out sauce. It's basically the same thing. You just add a dash of white vinegar. I use this to clean my floors. I feel like McDonald's special sauce is a little lighter, so I'm gonna add a dollop of mayonnaise. Mix that bad boy up. I don't got the squirt gun that they use. Okay, sauce, onion, lettuce. Is it bun then cheese? No, it's cheese first. Means. They came out so little. Look at the difference. I'm not gonna lie, McDonald's has me beat right now. A pickle, almost forgot. My sister refuses to eat pickles, so I'm not gonna put pickles in hers. <laughs> we do the whole thing again. Sauce, lettuce, slap some cheese on it. Burger bun that takes up half the patty. <laughs> and sprinkle some onion on top. And then we are going to form our burger. Okay, so this is what they do in commercials to like make it look better. So like take the patty, split it open, and then like just have meat on one side. So they do it airport sandwiches too, to like make it look like it's more meat. It's that clickbait. When I arrange this, look how good it's gonna look. I gotta throw in some pickles just for aesthetic. Okay, here it is. Does that not look glorious? You don't even see the sauce in mine, but you don't even see the meat in this one. Even with all the beefy funny business I pulled, it still looks way better than this. But does it taste better? Taste test time. I will remove the pickles for you. You're gonna know immediately. This one already has like three bites taken out of it. Here you go. Come scooch, scooch. I have a lot I don't know, you have to guess. That's your burger. No. <laughs> take a bite. Then take a bite! A little GMO won't hurt. Did you even get any meat? No. Hurry, my burger is dripping. I need <laughs> What do you think of that one? It tastes wet. <laughs> 
Have you ever had sewer? Sewer? Or like if you drop something in a sewer, you pick it up and you finish mm -hmm. eating it? No. Okay, well I have, that's what it tastes like. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, now try this one. You're gonna need a bigger mouthful. Okay, go. Bite. What do you think? I've never had a real Big Mac before. Does it taste like a real Big Mac? I don't know, I've never had one. <laughs> <laughs> one of these is a Big Mac. That was not a Big Mac. Whenever you fed me like 30 seconds ago, it was not a Big Mac. Then what was it? I don't know, my eyes are there's, closed. There's, <laughs> there's no funny business. Which is the homemade Big Mac. <laughs> So dumb. He was like holding up two pieces of paper, which is black, which is white. <laughs> no, yours is really good. It's really good. Okay, this is very good. I'm gonna be making the gluten free one now. Make this my way so I can actually try it. Extra pickles. I've already had enough gluten for the day. Some onion. I just throw everything on this. Plastic cheese. I might just make this into a regular burger. I wanna make it look like it has two patties. And there you have it gluten free Big Mac. Oh, I've been waiting all day to take that bite. Big Mac with some in and out fries. That first bite of burger made this all worth it. I'm gonna finish this before I clean up this whole mess. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the face. And comment below what other fast food should I remake next time. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.